What's going on everybody? It's Glenn from the latest news and I try not to think like this, but y'all gotta excuse me. Um I just wanna ask, do y'all think Quavo wound up take off? I don't know. I don't I'm trying not to think like that, but Looking real sketchy, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I would hate to think that he set up his own nephew. But we all know how the industry works. It's a corrupt business. It's very, very, very corrupt. I won't put nothing past anything when it comes to the industry. But this is touching. Man. This is crazy. I don't know. Quavo made a song. Well, call without you. Of course, I couldn't post a you know song or whatever. Like I could post the lyrics and you take a look at the lyrics. It's touching. It's touching. A lot of some some people feel like he has something to do because only because he's not speaking out. He didn't speak out in like two. It's been about two months, and I know everybody grieves differently, but. Oh, I don't know. Like, I know what it feel like to lose a brother or somebody close to me, so. But at the same time, I'm not in the industry, you know, so I don't, you know. But I know a lot of corrupt things happen when you're in the industry. And there ain't no denying that. It's just been proven time and time again. You know? And, um... See we got here. Some more lyrics. And so French man had Tanner had something to say, mom. You were using. You can't hide that forever. Basketball champion and reality superstar. If Chloe said, I want to give this another shot, you want me to be honest with you? TMZ presents Lamar Odom, Sex, Drugs, and Kardashians. Watch it now on Hulu. You said that you did hear Quavo's tribute about Quavo's tribute. Yeah, yeah, I definitely heard it. Yeah, him and Lori, man. Shout out to Quavo. I had a chance to see him. Right? How is bars. he? I mean, he's doing the best he can, but right. you know, I went through that too with Chinks and, you know, losing my best friend, so I know exactly what he's going through, you know, so, you know, I cheered him up. We had a great time, and I'm just so happy he's back to making music, man. Shout out to Quavo. I, I love you, love Quavo. That. We all behind you. I appreciate you for that. To be yeah. honest with you, did you give him any good advice? That can't be easy. Yeah, I gave him the best advice. Don't, don't sink into that sinking hole. Don't stay in the dark room for the rest of your life. You know, we all took losses, we all got to bounce back. You know, but I think that, you know, Takeoff wouldn't want you to be depressed right. in the room, you know what I'm saying? He wants you to be out there and holding down for him. So I did the same thing for Chinks. Puff did the same thing for Biggie. Right. And I think, you know, the cycle, go, you know, the, the life goes on. You have a really good friend. I appreciate you, Frank. Thank you so much. much. Like I said, he could be an industry plant too to this whole situation. It's just sad, man. We need to know we need to know more than what's going what's really going on. Like what's really going on. I mean, I don't know, man. I ain't wanna make a video on this, but it's just it's not a lot of fishy things going on. I don't know if that's hurting Quavo face or guilt. I don't know. Like I said, I know everybody grieves differently. I know what it feels like to lose a, somebody close to me. You know, but like I said, the industry is just is nothing. It's never no good things that come out of out of the industry. You know, you can just look back on the history on. What's been happening in hip hop? Really, hip hop. You know. You know. So, I you know the, the the fans seem to think otherwise. They, you know, um, to take off. I mean, sorry. Um, Quavo's uh, song "Without You." You know, the, most people, you know, showing Quavo some love. Which is, I'm not mad at, but I just, me, myself, personally, I just want to know what's really going on. Like, we need 
some words from Quavo about what really happened. You know, he was there. So, did Clark really do it? Because Clark got out on bail. One million, $1 million dollar bail. Or whatnot. So, he didn't have nothing to say about that. Like, nothing to say, you know. The song is whatever, cool, or whatever. You know, like I said, everybody grieves differently, but you gotta have something to say to the public, you know, to take, you know, Tico had, you know, had a lot of fans. I was, you know, one of them. I feel like he was the best Migo. You know? So, we we need answers, man. We need answers. Because, you, you know, you was there. Like, I also, he can't really give us because he wasn't there. But, Quavo, you was there, man. Like, we, we really want to know what, what, what happened, like, like, did Clark really do it, or was it, what, what really happened? That's all we want to know, you know, you know, we, mm, us as fans, we feel like we should know what, what really, what happened. But it's, it's still, it's just still bothering me, because I'm like, I don't know, man. We, we need answers. Sometime soon, like it's been about two, almost three months. It's a whole new year, man. We need some type of answers of what really happened that night or that morning. You know, that's all. You know, and that way that clear up everything. That would click clear your name and whoever else's name was there. It's the answers. You not saying anything is just. I don't know. It's not helping. It's not. It's not making you look good. And it's you know, in situation. It's a lot of people. You know, some people feel like you know, you lying, nephew. And it's up to you to clear your name. To you know, just clear your name, Quavo. You guys, let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Y'all have a blessed night.